Welcome, welcome. Happy Friday. I am Miss Nicole AC with Expressive Path, and today we're doing another little art demo for our Fridays at four. I hope you guys are having an excellent week. I am so thrilled for the weather today. Can we just give give the weather a round of applause? Because I dig it. It's been too cold, guys. Too cold. So anyway, today we're doing a really easy painting demo. We're gonna do some abstract string painting. You guys have probably seen this around before, but we're just gonna go through it step by step with you. It's actually not difficult at all. Um, and as long as you're there to supervise, it's good for your little kids too. Just, you know, make sure they don't need the paint. <laughs> First, let's go over the supplies because you need a bunch of stuff. Well, not a bunch, but you know, you need stuff. So, of course you need your craft container. Today we need a container for each color. We're using acrylic paint to do our paintings, but we will have to water them down a little bit. So you want a rimmed plastic container or a little plastic cups. Uh, you know what are really great? Those cups that like sauces come in when you order food online, like those little plastic cup things. Um, I have a bunch of those that I got at the thrift store. Or you can reuse, also another thing, coffee cans. We use these for everything. I picked this beautiful blue and purple and orange. And these are the colors I'm gonna use today. Now, I've already prepped my purple and my blue, but I'll show you how to do the orange because we do have to make sure that we don't over water it down. You'll also need some paper or canvas. I suggest watercolor paper or thicker paper. Um, they have something called Bristol board, which is a, just a thicker paper, that's all. And they sell that at Michael's. Um, and you'll also need some string. The string does need to be soft and kind of fabric-y. It needs to be able to soak up the water and the paint. So if your string isn't the type of material that'll soak up water, it's not gonna work really. So make sure it's actual string and not like that plasticky string, you know what I mean? Oh, so you'll need a container for your water. Honestly, and you could probably do this project with just this couple of supplies. I mean, you can add whatever you'd like. If you wanna bring glitter into the equation, you totally can, that's up to you. You know, beware. <laughs> um, an apron, yeah, don't wear your most favorite outfit ever, because it'll probably get a little messy. Shake up your acrylic paint, sometimes it likes to separate and settle. And we're just gonna put a little bit on our dish. Okay, I'm gonna give it a dollop. And then I'm just gonna add a couple of drops to water to it and then mix it around. I don't wanna pour the water into it because I'm probably gonna add too much if I do that. I just used one of my used brushes, so the orange is gonna get a little bit of blue in it. So When it starts to kind of run, that's when you know you have a good consistency to work with. If it runs down your plate too quickly, it'll probably be too watery and will bleed through your paper. So that's also why I suggest thicker paper. So I'm just gonna add some more orange paint and mix it around. Awesome. We're gonna go ahead and give it a try. So the thing about the string painting on the paper is I do have to set it on the table. So let's go ahead and rearrange for a second. Look at that, amazing. All right, so to start, we're gonna start with our blue. Let's start with blue. You're gonna get your piece of string. Voila, here's my string. As you can tell, I've already used it a little bit in the blue. <laughs> get your string and you're gonna dip it in your blue paint. Yeah. It's easier with a cup. You can just kind of let it soak in there. Make sure it's covered. I flip it around. Doesn't this look fun? Everyone likes to be messy. Right? And all you're gonna do is make a design on your paper with your string. A really nice way to make a design is just to go kind of squiggles back and forth. The magic happens when you pull it. So I'm gonna start here. I wanna go here, here, 
here, here. And it's important to make sure you have enough string leading off the paper so you can pull it. So I've laid it down and now we're just gonna we're just gonna pull it. So make sure your paper doesn't drag too, and then just at one point, just drag your string. Bam. Ah, I got paint all over me, oh gosh. So this is gonna be a messy one, guys, so be prepared. But check that out. So they kind of look like flowers. So you could do this project with your kids and have them do a bunch and then just paint a vase around it. So let's go ahead and give that another, another string pull and another color right here. Let's go ahead and check it out. I'm gonna use my string and this time I'm gonna go into my purple. Get my string in there real good. So yeah, don't worry, most acrylic paint, I think if not all of them, are, you know, non-toxic paints, definitely craft paints, so you don't have to stress too much. And um, once the paint dries, it probably won't come out, out of your clothes or off your table. So if you wanna cover your table prior to this, that's probably a good idea. So let's go ahead and make this one maybe some loops and see what happens. Something like that. Oop, my string's a little short, so we're just gonna do here. And then we're gonna pull it. Make sure to hold your paper still. Ooh. And then just put your string back into its proper. Oh my God, so messy. <laughs> Check it out. I love this. Your kids are gonna love this. Get them a really big piece of paper. Look how impressive that is. No effort, no effort. All right, let's do another one. Let's do another one. This is also something you can do as an adult. If you are one of those people that are like, I have zero artistic skills, this is gonna work for you guys, I promise. Let's do this orange. Let's get this orange going. Let's get this in here real quick. I'm gonna soak this in the orange paint. Now this one, you can also put the string on the paper and then fold it in half and pull it for a symmetrical look. This one needs probably some more water. Hold on. And more orange paint. You can tell I didn't put enough because the string really soaked it all up there. So you learn as you go. You learn as you go, guys. So we're gonna get this guy real good. And this time what we're gonna do is we're gonna fold our paper in half. We're gonna fold our paper in half without getting it too messy. Doo -doo -doo. Okay. And this time, we're gonna put our string on one side, fold it, and then pull it. So that's that's what we're doing today. So let's go ahead, we got this orange string. Gonna straighten that guy out. Bam, and let's put him on the paper. So if he touches, that's even cooler. Got them on the one side. I'm gonna flip my paper over and hold it down firmly. And then I'm gonna pull. You can also do this with a book. It's probably a little bit easier. All right. Big reveal. Uh, they're like twin tulips. Oh my gosh, I love that. Oh my gosh, that's beautiful, guys. Oh my gosh. Okay. All right. Sorry. I'll stop. <laughs> stop being totally excited with my own projects. <laughs> okay. Let's see what it looks like on a canvas. Let's go ahead and do it on a canvas and check that out. So this is where the contrast is going to be super cool. I have primed this canvas with black paint. So we're going to check it out. Let's see what color. Let's do that blue color. That blue color was beautiful, wasn't it? What did I do with the blue string, y'all? Blue string, here we go. Blue string. This really takes absolutely no, no skill, guys, I promise. Uh, I can absolutely promise. All right, so let's go ahead and let's do, I wanna do a tinier one. So we're gonna really kind of control this one because I want them to feel like flowers coming out from the center. So we're gonna put this one here. 
and pull it. Ooh, I love that. Let's do another one. Let's do another blue one over here. A little shorter, but leading to the center. And then I'm gonna pull this guy. other colors. Let's, what do we want to see next? We want to see purple or orange. Let's go ahead and do orange. Some nice complementary colors in here. So guys, if you do these projects at home, please always send us photos. I love when you guys do that. And another thing, if you're following along, if you haven't already, just start a craft box. Just use a leftover cardboard box or a plastic container to hold all your craft items and then when you're done you just give this a wipe while it's still wet it'll clean right off and then you just reuse this plate and it's your craft plate we love reusing stuff here guys save on supplies save the earth right it's double good all right so i've got my orange string this one i'm gonna go up here i want it between so i'm gonna go Boop. Boop. And it's okay if it goes over your blue. It's probably going to a little bit. Boop. 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 All right. And now I'm going to pull. Oh, I love it. All right. Let's do one on the other side. I don't know if you can tell, but this is messy, but it's also a lot of fun. So let's check that out. Oh my gosh. That's so cool. That is so cool. Your kids are going to love this, guys. Let's look at all the stuff we did today. Oh my gosh, it came out so cool. All right, let's look at it all. Bam. Here are the, this is the fold over one. That really, that really looks like giant tulips. I love it. And then here's our first try. Oh man. So guys, this is, remember, this is just the acrylic paint, a little bit of water, and some string. And you guys can be amazing artists. Look at this. I would, this one especially, I would frame this and hang this up. This is awesome. <laughs> well, thank you guys so much for hanging out with me again for another Friday. Make sure you check us out next week, which will be the first Friday of the month. So that means trivia, because the first Friday of every month is going to be trivia. So... Thank you guys so much. If you do this project, please drop us a photo. Let us know what's going on. And if you have a project idea you want to see, maybe let us know. Maybe we'll check it out. All right, guys. Have a great weekend. Bye.